I remember taking a class um, about psychiatric medications and I was working at a group home at the time and the psychiatrist for the group home was offering this course and I was about to go back to school for Master of Counseling so I thought this would be good for me to take and it was quite interesting one of the things that stayed with me was this idea that our brain was the teacher was breaking it down into the basic lizard brain the I believe he said monkey brain and then there's the the human brain the neocortex so from the side you know it's like uh, lizard monkey and then human advanced thinking and language and so forth so a lot of times I believe that as humans we just think we got this one brain and it's advanced compared to other species and there it is it's all this nice advanced human brain but in understanding ourselves I think that we can benefit from looking at how the brain has evolved in stages and that those more basic stages are still there that we still have an inner lizard and an inner monkey and that the more we understand ourselves including an under understanding our brains the more we can achieve mastery in life through knowing how we work um, mastering the different faculties that we have so the lizard brain is basically the core aspects of uh, you know your heart beating automatically your breath occurring um, these kind of I believe they're called autonomic functions these uh, parts of our our life uh, are being alive that are just an automatically occurring kind of thing which is wonderful uh, but it's also you know if you think about a, a lizard like when I see lizards, which I sometimes see around here in Northern California in my yard and so forth, they're very skittish. <laughs> and we don't want to live in that skittish kind of basic survival kind of way of just, you know, us being afraid. And to transcend that, identifying more with our higher self, with our advanced mind and higher functions of, of empathy, of spiritual enrichment, and uh, diminishing the ego. Another part of our brain going upward, the monkey brain, this part of us is you know, very concerned about mating, about you know, acquisition of food, power, power struggles and this is part of the frustration that we experience both when we look out at the world and we see with honesty what is within ourselves we want to live in this higher functioning way we want to be advanced beings and for the world to be advanced and to be empathic and for us to to work together on higher level kinds of issues but there is still this power-hungry kind of way of being with, within our mind, that the more power we have, the greater our chances of survival and so forth. But power involves power over another, in that sense of the use of power. And that sets us up for lack of empathy, because we don't, if we're into power, we don't care about those we're above, we're just glad that we're above them in some way. So again, identifying with your more advanced, developed brain, the part of your brain that has kept on developing beyond the stages that other animals have been able to develop it, can get you away from the energy of the monkey or the lizard. In other words, if you focus a lot on higher level ways of, of perceiving reality and do personal growth and spiritual study you'll be less controlled by these more basic functions 
And if you use your wisdom and guidance and higher functions to find a way to get your basic survival needs met, and you devalue some of the other kinds of monkey type, uh, you know, ways of focusing upon life, then that frees up that area to feel like, okay, okay, monkey brain, I have food, I have shelter, I am, you know, okay on the basics level, so I'm going to function on a higher level and continue to let my neural activity occur around these frontal lobe areas and so forth that, that keep me at higher vibration. Because, unfortunately, you know, there are millions, if not billions, of people on the planet still operating on that level of survival. So, if we have the opportunity in our life to move beyond survival and to focus on uh, other aspects of life, of how to transcend our ego, how to live above our base instincts and have empathy and make the world a better place and, and you know, spread good vibes, then we can also spread resources to people that are living in a more survival type way of being and allow them as well. We don't need the power over them. We don't need to feel good in America because we're not, you know, living in the conditions of, of Haiti, for example, right now. So uh, focus on your higher thoughts and take Take advantage of what you have access to. Take advantage of this evolved brain that you have. Don't settle for living like a lizard or a monkey. You have parts of your brain that are advanced, so continue to use them and focus upon those, and you'll continue to evolve.